Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 tutorial. We have plenty of tutorials on this channel showing you how to do anything that your heart desires and we are going to show you how to install EUP today. What EUP is, it allows you to put custom uniforms on while you're on patrol and you guys can get custom vests, custom uniforms, you could do anything your heart desires with EUP. It really is awesome and I love it. I use it every single stream that I do, which we stream almost every single day and we are going to go ahead and get started. If you guys are new to channel definitely hit that subscribe button hit that notification button and smash that like button really help this channel out and i'm going to help you install eup so let's go and get started so i have my grand theft auto 5 installed through steam if you guys have the same what you guys are want to do is go to steam go to steam library you see library up here at the top you guys are going to go to grand theft auto 5 we're going to right click on grand theft auto 5 we're going to go to properties so once you guys are on properties you guys are going to go in and hit local files right here you're going to browse your local files this is going to pull up your GTA 5 main directory. So this is everything for what you're going to need. And then you're also going to need Open IV. So once you get Open IV um, and also this right here, you guys are going to go to your internet browser. And what you guys want to do is you guys are going to want to go into lcpdfr.com. I will leave the link down in the description. You guys are going to go over here to downloads. We're going to click on the downloads tab. And then once you click on the downloads tab, you're going to go to the character tab right here. So you're going to go and click on character. And then you're going to go right here where it says sort by. We're going to click sort by, go most downloaded. And we're going to go to emergency uniforms pack. This will be your EUP. So what I want you guys to do from the very start is I want you guys to go down, go ahead and download this file. It could take up to a couple minutes to actually download. I already have it downloaded, but you guys are going to click on this right here. Click download this file. And then also you guys are going to need, if you scroll down to add-ons right here and go ahead and let these pop up. So you got LSPFR EUP configurations. You're going to need to download that file. Then you're also going to need to download the EUP menu, which is going to pop up right here. So you need to download EUP menu. You need to download LSPFR EUP configurations. So you need to download them too. And then you also need to make sure you download this. So once them all get downloaded, what you're going to do is open them all up. I use WinWAR to open up my zip files. I recommend using WinWAR. It's, it's very, uh, it is free. Uh, it says that you may have to pay for it, but you don't. Uh, so I have all of them open right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and click on this one right here. So this is going to be our main file that we downloaded right here for the uh, EUP. Uh, so the one that you downloaded right here, it's going to have plugins. If you go back right here, it's going to say plugins and it's also going to say EUP LNO 8.1.OIV. So what you guys want to do is let's go and drop, minimize all this stuff right here. And we're going to go ahead and click out of that and we're going to minimize all that stuff right there. So EUP LNO 8.1.OIV. So you're going to take this file right here. You're going to drag and drop it onto your desktop. I already have it on my desktop. I'm just going to replace it just like so. So you guys are going to see that that file was on my desktop. What you guys want to do is go ahead and open IV. So once you guys open IV right here, you guys are going to go ahead and click Windows on Grand Theft Auto 5. Once you guys click Windows on Grand Theft Auto 5, since this is for PC only, you guys are going to go in here and you guys are going to click Edit Mode. So let's go and click Edit Mode. We'll have that popped up for us. And we're going to go to Tools. So once you guys want to, want to do is go right here and you'll see Tools. We're going to go down where it says Package Installer. So we're going to go and click Package Installer. And remember, you put that file on your desktop. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on this right here, EUP LNO 8.1 dot o i v so what you're going to do is you're going to click on this right here and you're going to go and click open on it and you're going to install this this is the very first step you're going to always install it into your mods folder if you install it in your games folder you're going to corrupt stuff you can't do that you have to install it in your mods folder so let's go and click that and we're going to click this confirm installation just like so we're going to go and let that install right there 
So once that's done installing, we'll show you how to install the other stuff and then we'll show you how to put custom uniforms in. It's very simple, very easy, and we're going to just get it done real fast. And then we'll hop into GTA 5. I'll show you how to uh, work the EUP menu. Uh, so as you see, it says the installation has succeeded. Remember, you guys got to still watch. Don't just leave because it says it's installed because it's not all the way installed. So what you guys want to do is click close on this. And then we are going to go ahead and go right here. So you see the plugins folder. What you guys want to do is open your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory again. It should already be open down here in your tabs. We are going to go and click right here. You guys are going to go over here and go ahead and open that back up right here. So you see the plugins folder. What you're going to do is drag and drop inside your GTA 5 main directory. It's going to ask me to replace the files. I'm going to go ahead and replace them. Just like so. Perfect. So we are done with that one. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to install the LSPDFR EUP configuration. Uh, so it's very simple to install this. So all you got to do, you'll see a LSPDFR folder and then also uh, how to install for noobs. Uh, right here, you're going to take this LSPDFR folder. You're going to drag and drop inside your GTA 5 main directory. I'm going to replace the files. Bam, that is installed. Very simple, very easy. And we're going to install the EUP menu. So for the EUP menu, it's going to open up like this. It's going to have a plugins folder and rage native folder uh, file. You guys are going to go ahead and we are going to take these two files and drag and drop into our GTA 5 main directory. Just like so. Done. Perfect. All right. So we have the EUP menu installed. We have the LSPDFR EUP configuration installed. And we also have EUP itself installed. So what you guys want to do now is we're going to go back to our internet browser and we are going to go up here and I have the South Carolina State Trooper and EUP um, download right here. I can back out real fast just to show you guys. So what you guys want to do when you want to install a uniform, it has to say EUP. If it doesn't say EUP, then it's not for EUP. But you guys see South Dakota State Trooper uh, and EUP. Uh, Vermont State State Trooper uh, EUP. We got New Mexico State uh, Police Officer and EUP. I'm gonna go ahead and download South Carolina State Trooper uh, by Trooper Charles. Shout out to Trooper Charles. He he's done all these. Look at this. Trooper Charles. Trooper Charles. Trooper Charles. I mean, it's all by him. He does an amazing job. Uh, but what what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on this right here. And you guys are going to come in here and you're going to see download this file. So we see download this file right here. We're going to go and click download on it. And you'll see two different files here. So this one's just for the regular PED that's inside the game. This one right here is going to be for the EUP. So you guys want to download the bottom one. We'll go ahead and click download on that. Once that actually downloads, we'll go ahead and pull it up. Let's go ahead and click open on this. And once we get that done, it has five seconds left. As you see, I use WinRAR to open up my files. You click open and bam, there it goes. So this is the complicated part. Okay, so South Carolina Highway Patrol. So you see these two files right here. So you got EUP component peds p.rpf and then you also have EUP component peds .rpf. So you need to pay attention to that. Make sure because there's a difference between the two. There's a p.rpf and there's just a .rpf. So you need to pay attention to that. What we're going to do is open our IV. We're going to go mods folder. We're going to go update x64 DLC packs and you're going to go EUP. So remember, it's going to be mods folder, update x64 DLC packs EUP. So once you get in the EUP folder, you're going to click on that, click DLC x64 and right here, you see the difference between the two. There's the P.RPF and then there's just RPF right here. So if we look at this right here, the South Carolina. So you're going to see, let's go ahead and move it down right here. So you're going to see this one says ComponentPeds.PRPF and then this one says ComponentPeds.RPF. We're going to click on that and then we're going to make sure we go into ComponentPeds.RPF. Just like so, you just got to match them up just like so and what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop all these files so take all these files right here and go ahead and grab them all we'll go from the bottom up just like so we're going to drag and drop them into our open iv perfect so that is in there we're going to go and back out of this and we're going to back out of this one right here let's go and let that go in perfect so the next one that we're going to do is component peds p.rpf so make sure they match up. 
So we're going to go right here. This one says EUP component peds p.rpf. We're going to open that up. We're going to go in here where it says component peds p.rpf. We're going to click on that. And what you guys want to do is drag and drop these files into here. Just like so. Bada bing, bada boom. They are now in there. Let's go ahead and back out of this. We are done with open IV. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and head into our GTA 5 main directory. So inside your GTA 5 main directory, you're going to hit plugins, EUP. So you're going to have an EUP folder in here. You're going to go to wardrobe. So you see wardrobe right there. We're just going to leave that up right there. And if you go in here, what this is going to do, if you install this wardrobe file, so we're going to drag and drop it in there. We're going to replace the files in the destination. Uh, what that does right there is when you get inside GTA 5, you could just hit on wardrobe and you don't have to set up your uniforms. They're already set up for you exactly how South Carolina Highway Patrol is or whatever state you use. So they're already set up for you. So it's pretty cool. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open Grand Theft Auto 5 up and we're going to show you guys how to actually um, work EUP. It's very simple, very easy. Uh, we're just going to get in there. We're going to show you guys how to install it. We're going to open the game up with Rage Plug and Hook. So let's go ahead and do that. And then once we actually get in there, I'm going to show you guys how to work it. Thank you all for coming by and watching. I'm just here to help you guys out. So just do me that one favor and help me out by smashing that like button. That would be awesome. I really appreciate it. So we're just going to open Rage Plugin, hook up, and we'll get it all set up for you. And show you how to work EUP. And you guys are you guys are good to go. Um, all you got to do is just learn how to work the EUP menu, which I'm going to show you here in a second. And you guys will have your uniforms in. And remember, as long as it says EUP and you follow that same path, you could do it with vest. You guys could do it all kinds of stuff. So um, just make sure that you follow that same path that I showed you, whether it's the P.RPF or the .RPF. You just got to make sure you're paying attention to that. Um, because if you if you install them in the wrong uh, section, then it's going to corrupt your files. And that's not good. It's never good. Uh, so just make sure you guys take your time and pay attention to that. Um, and uh, if you guys have any more questions about anything, feel free to come to my Discord. We have over 1,200 people in the Discord. Uh, we have an LSPDFR support section in there. So we have a support team that can help you guys out. They totally work for free. They try their hardest to help you out as much as possible. Uh, so uh, please be patient because we get a lot of support tickets. Uh, but we got tons of tutorials on the channel to show you how to install custom sirens. Um, I mean custom liveries custom vehicles emergency lighting system, which will be ELS where you go code 3 code 2 or code 1 I mean anything and everything that your heart desires for LSPFR. I'll show you how to install it I'm not stingy. I'm here to help you guys get you in here do the exact same thing that I do um, And we'll just wait for this game to go ahead and load up And if you guys look over to the left hand side of the screen down in the corner, it's called natural natural vision evolved I use that for my graphics mod it is ten dollars on Patreon, uh, so I definitely recommend getting it for you guys for yourselves. Uh, it just makes the game look so much better if you guys were, because I know a lot of people ask about that because I stream almost every single day. So what you guys want to do is you're gonna hit F4. We're gonna hit F4. We're gonna type in Reload All Plugins, just like so. We're gonna let that load up. And the reason why I do um, I don't load any of my plugins up during the startup of the game. It's because of the fact that a certain plugin could cause your game to freeze and not allow you inside the game. So I go to the settings and rage plugin hook and I make it where I don't load up any plugins as I'm starting. Uh, so let's go ahead and let this load up. As you guys see in the left hand corner screen, it says EUP menu warning. Uh, the reason why it's saying that is because I don't have serve and rescue pack installed. It's very simple to actually do it. All you got to do is just download the serve and rescue, uh, put it to your desktop to open IV, uh, their OIV folder, and basically you just do the package installer again. It's very simple. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit F4. What you guys want to do is hit F11. F11 want to bring up your EUP menu. So what you're going to do is go to wardrobe. Once you guys go to wardrobe, you'll see that you guys have South Carolina Highway Patrol or whatever uh, uniform you guys put in. And you guys will see that you have that all installed, which is pretty awesome. So you guys got all that installed. Uh, another thing that you guys could do is let's go ahead and so you create an outfit if you want and you can save it. Uh, you could go EUP law and order. You guys could hit LSPD. You got custom uniforms in here for LSPD. Just like so, um, you go Los Santos Sheriff's Department. You got custom uniforms in here for that. Uh, and also, this is another thing that you guys could do. So if we hit F11, 
we go law and order let me go just right here uh, you guys if you have simple trainer installed so if you have simple trainer installed what you guys can do is you guys can go ahead and um, go into your simple trainer and you guys could go to model spawning you guys could go to close menu and if you have vest and stuff like that that you want to put on you go to accessories too and you guys could put vest on you guys could see that right there we change it up to sheriff sheriff gang task force fib um, you got all that stuff right there I mean there's so much stuff that you could do with EUP it's amazing that's why I love it so much and I use it a lot you guys can also change your hats up right here you guys could go different hats all that good stuff just like so uh, we do the cowboy hat if we want just like this and there you guys go you got EUP installed you guys have fun with this it is awesome another reason why I really enjoy it is cuz look if I go in first person my hat is not gonna be in my way uh, basically it's me in first person and if you guys know if you in, like install the peds like the actual peds that patrol around um, and try to use a hat with them the hat will block your view uh, but it with EUP it fixes that problem it's pretty cool I love it uh, but there you guys go you got everything um, ready to go for you uh, let me see and let's go ahead and get back out here and this is one of my cruisers that I'm using. I'm going to probably be streaming with this here soon. I got tons of cars in. So if you guys want to know how to install vehicles, i show you how to do that. It's very simple, very easy. show you all the cars that I have in. I got quite a few. Basically, we have all the slots full with uh, custom police vehicles. We got the Dodge Durango right here. Basically, anything that you guys want, feel free to stop by the channel. Thank you all for coming by. Uh, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Stay safe out there. Stay blessed. Big shout out to all of our sponsors, all you subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you guys want, you guys could definitely go down there in the description. Go subscribe over to our sponsors. Help them support. Uh, help support them like they support us. And uh, big shout out to every single one of you guys. Stay safe out there. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.